Day number three, going to our favorite Goodwill down the street. We're gonna go in there, see what they have to flip a line for a profit. You're not gonna believe what I just found. Kaylee is gonna freak out again. Watch this. Hey, babe. Found you another bag. <laughs> That's nice. These Cabo bags, I'm telling you, man, you can find them in the Goodwills, and we get these questions like, so much. Three dollars. Yeah, that's a good deal. This needs to be lint roll. Yeah, lint roll. But other than that, all the zippers work on it. There's really, you know, just have to clean it up a little yeah. bit. But as you can tell, she's wearing one right now. The Cavu fan. Look, they actually have the Cavu name. Oh, it has it on that one too. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it was written right there. Mm -hmm. So. Look. Hey, oh, you kill a Cavu back. Oh, here. sack roots. Huh. Kind of jacked up though. This, do you clean that? No. Mm, it looks dyed. Mm, that's nice though. It has peace on the inside. It's ripped. And oh, ripped. Good bag. All right, man. I got you another Cavu bag. This is like the Cavu. Peewee. Look at the old. Uh, Made, in the USA. Made in the USA. Shame. The Franklin Spelling Ace. Before they had corrective text. And before they had text. Remember, do you use these? I did. I couldn't spell worth nothing. This was the decline of spelling bees. Eleven books, free shipping. Seven books. So I think of it's two bucks. A little. I mean, if you got this for free, you could sell it for a couple bucks. But you know, they do sell. Sleeping rabbit, broken. This cat actually would be a good pickup for two bucks to go for like 16 because he is department 56. The thing is, is, he has a big chip on his ear, so uh, the old cat's gonna have to stay. But be on the lookout, I actually didn't know I flipped him over, saw department 56, and that stuff sells pretty good for us. So, but we're gonna leave him behind because the old chip. But go time, go time here. It's like a little half bag. I don't know, it seems to be cheaply made. I'm not gonna lie. As you can tell by these clasps right here. This one's a little chinchy. I think it has the molly webbing. Alright, we'll leave somebody else, the old. Ready for anything. Hmm. I don't think so. Small bag. You're not ready for anything. Alright, I was actually able to find it on eBay. It looks like they sell for like 20 bucks. Uh, one plus shipping or free shipping thing is four dollars sell through rates kind of low on these so we're gonna leave it behind but it'd be cool for somebody but we'll go ahead and leave the old go time someplace else as a back piece to it look at this it's like brand new it's got the american flag look at the cool cats are on the back of course again it has some of the same phone number on it it doesn't matter i think it matters unless you work for that company i don't think you want their phone number on the back if it just had atlantic and maybe the cat on it i'd buy it but that's a cool jacket. Look at this thing. This is from Steve and Barry right there, athletic department. This is actually not too bad. It feels like it's almost new. What size is it? Size medium, smaller pullover. They go for like 20 bucks. But pretty good pickup right here at the US. It's not too bad. So this Green McGregor golf bag is also a super good deal. These things go for over a hundred bucks. So this one's gonna be 100% a pickup. All right, so an interesting turn of events here. A lady that owns a trucking company needs some help. Walked into the Goodwill, was like, hey, we need somebody to unload a truck for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, maybe an hour. And she's willing to pay like a couple hundred dollars. So you know I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna run over there and make some money. So that right there is the truck we just unloaded. Just some fertilizer. It wasn't that bad. I think it was only like 20 pallets. Mm -hmm. And we, we did some day labor today. Yeah. That ain't too bad. All right, so after our little, uh, what was that? A recess, maybe? Our hard labor recess. It wasn't really that hard labor. Um, but we're gonna add another Goodwill. We're gonna go in there, see what they have. You just put down PI2s. I think almost, uh, it's not the whole set. Four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No wedge, but holy crap. 
That is a killer find. I didn't see that before. That's the one iron. So they were just put out, like literally just watch the guy put these out. This one's inside there, the, the one iron ping iron too? That's rare. Um, these are brand new. Brand, brand spanking new. Are they old? I don't know. Flip it over. I think so. Oh, that's got Oh, what is that? Uh -huh. Didn't see that. Didn't see that big old mark. Welcome to Las Vegas. Oh, uh, this one's also, look. Um, you know why? They were sitting somewhere and their son died. Uh, yep. This is a, uh, hey, is this an actual Ben Hogan? Open that, that's a Ben Hogan bag. Right. But I don't understand why the sweater's in there. Because it's special. It's a special sweater. So we still think this is a special sweater. It is a 100% cashmere Ben Hogan with the original bag sweater. We do have a list right now for $49.99. It's not sold yet, but we really think we're probably going to give about $40 for it. So a good pickup. After a delicious lunch at Gordon Beer's, fish tacos up here at Gordon Beer's, pretty good. And then Kayla uh, introduced me to boba tea. It's a good way to choke. I'm not a big fan of it, but it wasn't that bad. We're going to go into Goodwill, see what they got. Honeywell portable wireless doorbell. We really thought this was going to go for a lot of money. It's missing the uh, the button, but I still thought the speaker part would be worth a lot of money because Honeywell is a super good name brand to look out for. Turns out it's only worth like 20 bucks, brand new. So sometimes the name, you got to still look stuff up because if you don't know about it, definitely look it up because it might not be worth as much as you think. And this thing is a bed pump to pump up beds. Not like a whole bunch either. Infused with aloe. They're only at $1.99. I mean, that's this actually... Is $3. This is $3. These There's are... The, the bottoms, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, you can, um... <laughs> for Gahoon. The cold doesn't go up to your feet. So the cold doesn't go up to your feet. We'll look them up. All right, so these actually go for, like, $14 to $15. Plus shipping, these are, you know, three bucks, but you probably need an easy five dollars on them. So quick, they always sell the ones that have the padded bottom. But the Field and Stream for two ninety one ninety nine would be good for personal, but they really only sell for like five bucks. So Kayla picked up these nice pair of Sorrells. Check these bad boys out. Seven bucks here for these, but it looks like they go for 40. 40 bucks plus shipping, so that's gonna be pretty good. Sorrell's a good brand to pick up, and they look in super good condition. So if you want to get into shipping stuff that isn't worth a whole bunch of money, but usually always does sell, these VHS holders always sell. Here they're $2.99, but they only sell for like 15 bucks. It's a lot of packing material though. But if you look them up, seriously, the sell-through rate's almost like 50%, which really isn't too bad for things on eBay. They just don't sell for a whole bunch of money. All right, I found these. These are pretty cool, but they're asking five bucks for them. The duffel bag alone is not really worth a whole bunch because it's only like a super cheap duffel bag, which is sad, but it's the... Harley Owners Group uh, patch on it. And then there's one down here that has two patches on it. But like I said, I'm not gonna buy them just because they're asking, this one's seven bucks. It's got two patches. The patches alone actually, if you took the patches off, sell for like $5 a piece, but again, seven bucks. But they're, they're pretty cool to find. Um, but if there were more quality duffel bags, I'd probably buy them. But since they're not quality and the patches don't go for a lot of money, I'm gonna leave them behind. But cool little find for a Harley gear. Oh, Mickey USA hat. Let's go find Karen over here. I'm, I'm attacking it at a different angle right now because there's a lot of cars over here. There's Karen. I'm not going to get close to her because she's already got me in her sights. We check her out. She's right there. Karen, y'all said it was like 28 days before they hatched. I feel like I've been watching Karen out for six months. I do not see Larry though. Larry is, does anybody see Larry, Larry? No, Larry, well, if that's Larry over there, he's further than he usually is. And then Frank, who we think now is an estranged lover or an uncle. We don't know. He's over there, he's looking at me. So, uh, but I mean, are you registered anywhere? Amazon, nothing, not, not on Amazon. All right, we'll get a registry. People, people will buy stuff for you, Karen. 
So not a bad thrifting day right there. Uh, I thought we did pretty good. We're gonna go to the thrift stores a whole bunch because it's supposed to rain again on a Saturday. So it means no yard sales. And we don't have uh, yard sales on Fridays here. So again, if when you do this full time, you gotta go to the thrift store. You gotta find some stuff to sell. And that's what we did. We had a record weekend sale on Sunday, Easter Sunday. We had $1,600 in sales in one day. That is a record for us. If you're interested to know what we sold, go to our other channel called The Flip Squad. And we tell everything what we sold, how much it sold for, and basically how long it takes for this stuff to sell. So uh, we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers over there. I feel like with y'all's help, we could probably get to 10,000 over there. We do appreciate all the support. If you would, comment down below, like the video, hit that notification bell, give us a thumbs up. All that stuff is for free and it really helps the channel out a lot. We had a whole bunch of new subscribers come in, through, so thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, now's a good time to do it. I do appreciate everybody watching. You know I will always get you on the next one.